Hello, welcome to Tim Anderson Horse Training. I want to take a minute today to talk about the financial part of boarding horses. Maybe you're thinking about boarding some horses or maybe you um, already board horses someplace and you not really don't really understand why it costs as much as it does. So I want to take a minute, we'll talk about the financial part of it and, uh, and maybe that'll help answer some questions that you might have. Uh, the facility here, I have a 10 stall barn and we're on 30 acres total and uh, there's 15 horses that are boarded here usually what I do some of the horses are in and some of the horses are out um, we never have all 15 in or all 15 out at the same time they get rotated in and out so they'll all get 12 hours in and then 12 hours out that's kind of my general routine so uh, we'll talk about the financial part of that so for grain, I got my cheat sheet here. For grain, I spend $300 a week on grain for the horses. That works out to a total of $15,600 per year to grain those 15 horses. For hay, because of uh, we are on 30 acres here and we have the 15 horses, but we also have some cows too. So the horses don't get the whole 15 acres. So what I do is all year round, I supplement the pasture with rolls of hay. And that helps keep them from trampling the pasture down. It gives them good green grass to eat in the, the summer. And then I plant ryegrass in the winter. And uh, so on rolls of hay, I figure if I allocate 20 pounds of hay per horse per day, that's what I try to average it out to that works out to 110,000 pounds of hay per year and if I buy 1,000 pound rolls that's 110 rolls at $50 a roll that's $5,500 per year on rolls of hay now while the horses are in the stall I give them while horses are in stalls, I give them a flake of hay so that they can, they're eating all day long. So I go through about one and a fourth bales, square bales per day. At $6 a bale, that works out to roughly $2,738 per year on square bales. So that's the, the grain and the hay. Now we're gonna talk about the bedding for the stalls. Um, I keep my stalls, I try to keep them looking nice. Um, it's healthier for the horses, and in the end it actually helps my expenses stay down. Um, so I spend $125 per week on shavings for the stalls. That works out to a total of $6,500 per year that I spend on shavings. So that's the expenses as far as the daily care of the horses, the feed, but we also have other things. I have to, in the pasture, in order to maintain my grass, there's gonna be fertilizer, there's lime, there's grass seed, I put out rye in the winter time. So I allocate $2,000 per year for pasture work. Um, and that's seed, fertilizer, hay, that kind of thing. And then I allocate another $2,000 per year for repairs on the barn, uh, the tractor, whatever. Um, I allocate $2,000 a year for that. You're gonna have those maintenance and repair expenses. There's, there's, there's no way around it. And 2,000 is actually a little bit low, but I try to keep it there as best I can. And then other things that y you can't avoid. Um, one is property tax. Uh, I allocate $1,500 a year per, for property tax and then also $2,500 per year for insurance. That's property insurance, liability insurance. If you're going to board horses, you better have liability insurance. Um, so those expenses, that were, adds up to a total of $38,338 per year. So this is getting to be a lot of money pretty quick. So somebody has to come in and do the work, feeding and feeding the horses, cleaning the stalls, that kind of thing. Whether I do it or I pay somebody to do it, I have to account for that time. Uh, my time is worth something. I could be off somewhere else doing another job um, and actually making money, 
or I can or paying somebody so you have to account for that time and for here you sp we spend about three hours per day doing feeding and barn chores feeding the horses cleaning the stalls uh, sweeping the barn that kind of thing it works out to about three hours per day putting hay out in the pasture when we have to put hay out and just figuring if I if I say that's worth ten dollars an hour I could get somebody cheaper but if I have somebody in here that's bringing horses in I want them to know a little bit about horses I want them to know to say there's a problem um, and, and let me know so I, I, I allocate ten dollars an hour that's it's some parts of the country that might be cheap but here that's that's not too bad um, and that works out to eleven thousand dollars per year to have somebody do those chores so now we're up to forty eight thousand three hundred and thirty eight dollars per year that is to feed the horses clean the stalls maintain the facility and somebody to do the work so that works out to if I divide that between the 15 horses for 12 months that works out to two hundred and sixty eight dollars and change per month that each horse costs to do that well the other thing we have to take into account is the cost of the barn the cost of the the facility the pasture the land um, you might you might already have a 10 stall barn sitting on your your acreage but chances are probably not uh, you might have a smaller acreage and a smaller barn, but either way you have to account for the cost of that um, So when I figure um, The cost of the barn and the land and I amortize that out over say 30 years um, if it was like a mortgage that works out to about $100 per horse per month so fifteen hundred dollars a month that's a hundred dollars per horse so that brings the cost of the of boarding horses up to three hundred and sixty eight dollars per month and that is just pure cost so maybe that'll help answer your questions on why boarding costs as much as it does uh, and that might help kind of open your eyes to what the expenses are if you're going to start boarding horses You might be able to do some things to get those expenses a little bit cheaper. Here, we try to provide a top-notch care for the horses. Um, most of all these horses here are show horses or show horse prospects. So we try to provide a, a, a high level of care. If it's just um, in whatever your client demands, they might not demand quite that high level of care. You might be able to get by with a cheaper fee, less hay, less facilities that kind of thing you might be able to get your price down some but you're not going to be able to get it down a whole bunch so that kind of sums up what it costs to board horses uh, i hope you found this informative uh, please click the subscribe button subscribe to the channel i have quite a few training videos out and some videos about building the facility we still have a lot we want to do please click the thumbs up button let other people know that you found this uh, this video informative and if you have any questions or comments please put them in the comments line below I'd, lo I'd love to hear from them and I answer as many of them as I can so until next time thank you for watching